be too long. I guess I'm gonna go down. I'm going with you. Naked people. Uh. Three. Dean Carlton, Nathaniel. I Teddy. Uh, the speaking. words the plague doctor are engraved on this statue of a medical bed. I think I'm just gonna stay in this room with Teddy. Why Dean, are there ten parts everywhere? You are you hear a cough come from the inside. Dean, this is Charles. I asked of you to give me hold of all shipments for the rest of the year. I ask it is as a favor that you owe. Thank you. He shouts as you enter the room, I'm washing here. Then proceeds to smack the side of the tub three times with his palm. I'm washing here. I'm washing here. Well, you killed him. I just hit the button and said, what, what are you? Uh, uh. Move! I'm losing my mind. Was that even real? I we already went in there. I was seeing if it said anything in there. Oh god. This what? mess is eating me up. I tried covering the vent with cloth, but it doesn't seem to stop the leak. I have to enter the machine early. Done properly, I should be able to complete my parts while I'm living while I'm inside the machine. If not, I could be stuck in there permanently. Those suckers at the vault won't respond since the beginning of the leak here goes nothing king the machine stares and blinks at you and he begins to speak please shut me down already mr king is at you he continues on blinking without a response 4835 might be useful for something three months and six days still no mes message from the vault and no still no egg what went wrong down there you should take a picture of the 4835 i shut the machine down Okay, but take a picture of it. Take a picture of what? 48.35. I know the vault exists now. I had sewer spilled as much as he could. He says there's always watching and he can't say more. He'll be in danger if he were to say more than he already has about the vault. The cameras around the institution and are indestructible no matter what you do they don't break as much as I hate to leave them there like that I have to he's the only one that knows how we can get out from here I help him once he talks as you power the system off you see the machines eyes slowly shut you know that you did the right thing hey we killed it there's nothing in the bathroom I won't The what keyboard do doesn't do? seem to work. It looks like it's connected to something else. What am I supposed to do here? It seems that I should be looking for numbers to turn them into letters. Hey. Is that where I, is that where I come in? Do, yeah, the first numbers, I think. Oh, I know the time right here. So, 48.35. That's not a time. So I think we press four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Forty-eight, thirty-five. Did it do anything? No. Well, unless it's Let the me first pull up. Let's see the first numbers. Huh. We have those like four, eight. Fi no, that's it's on a clock though. I couldn't stay in my office any longer. I thought they would have been the end of me, so I kept on writing. I sprinted back to the counter documentaries. I've locked myself inside, but I can't hear the panic outside between everyone. My best course of action right now, waiting for all this to blow over, it seems that I'm the only immune to the virus, or whatever it may be. Speaking of virus, the children who were at school seemed to be fine. They were doing a better job than I was. I could hear walls falling from 
where I believe would be Med Bay. I hope all the children there are all right. The children are protecting themselves, uniting as one to fend off from the staff. The kids outnumbered them, so I believe they'll be fine. Maybe they'll clean up the mess I started. Not sure how the virus works. I should have seen it coming. I should have let everyone in from the first egg that was sent up. I shouldn't have doubted it. Maybe this was part of the experiment, knowing I'd be the one handling this, that specific month for shipment, as well as the fact that I just so happened to be immune to the egg. All of this, all of it, is all part of the experiment. I must play along. Back to this keyboard thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna go into the other rooms to see if there's anything in there, so just keep that room in mind. Nothing in this room. That's the thing, some of these letters that are over here are not on the clock. Don't infect it open inside. Oh, don't open. Infected inside. Walking dead. <laughs> Where you found a Oh. The book titled Raising Round by Benjamin Johnson. Learn how to truly love yourself. Get rid of fear. Raise a child correctly, do not enter. It said do not enter. As you enter the room, you cover your mouth with the palm of your hand on that you didn't have to open the bag to know what's inside. These these numbers are in the hundreds. This would support the fact that Lena and Charles are still alive. They might be close. Was that another way we could have went? Yeah, we could go up. We already been in there. Yeah, yeah, but I just you want the door to open. Oh yeah, there's a lot more areas. We could have went that way. Um, the grand library, it's locked. Yeah, because we still have that room and uh with the keyboard, once we get the password it opens the door. But we oh. could go upstairs. That's if we can actually go upstairs. Yeah, we can't go. Uh, uh, yeah, we can't. Never mind. I just got stuck. Staff dormitories can't go in. These vents are closed. School of Med Bay kitchen can't go in. There's two doors yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was two doors. I opened one of the doors. I think we gotta open our room downstairs. Yeah, we probably do. Oh, my battery's about to die. And I'm still at 25 HP from that explosion earlier. Yeah, I'm at 20. Uh, do we'll you take see. damage? It's... No. Yeah, I'm at 20. Oh, I didn't know you took damage on it. M T V R C O L A E B. Are you supposed to spell something? That's all I'm assuming, but they never gave us any numbers. So. Get moved for a second? I think I know what to do. T. What'd you spell? 
I did 48.35, but I was looking at this clock. So, um, A was 4, T was 8, um, 3 was zero, O, and 5 was M. Adam. I should make sure that I've read all of them since computer locks so I got this key. Yeah, we read it. Oh, it's a key to the Grand Library. God, more reading. So the machine, hello, Kevry drinks, blah. You hear voices, you put the phone to your ear. What's your favorite scary movie? Wow, so old. Halloween day. Uh, ever hated the back of your toilet seat? No worrying. Updated the potty pal for maximum comfort. Happy birthday, Charles. The system be up, uh, not sure what went wrong, but he believes it's part of the institution of your toilet seat. Anxiety, not important. What is this? I don't know. Read. Took four days to drag this thing back from the forest into the experimental chamber. Had to break up, break open the wall to get him in here. It has been four years since we brought him here with no results. We believe it's some sort of protective mechanism to hide something inside the hills. I searched the hill for months no, to no end. There aren't even animals here. Not sure where Demi had the idea that animals lived here. However, she wasn't wrong about the red tape. There's a bunch of it around the hills warning of poor wild animals. Is this machine a wild animal? Why? Begin to climb the stairs. There not be no presence. The feeling of a presence grew larger by the second. Better not. You slowly make your way downstairs. But we just got upstairs. Exactly. <laughs> the Actually, fuck? no. The library, the library isn't upstairs. I said we just got upstairs. Vehicle needs a new set of wheels, but there are none left. Got jammed up somewhere in the hill, getting it out, flattened the tire. 100% charge. <laughs> the block crusher. Oh, this door here. Oh, you can go down. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going down, I'm going up. Oh, oh. Follow the conversation in order from one to four. Where were you, Leon? Where were you, Leon? Your room is flooding with the vault DVD inside. Make haste. There's no time to fool around right now. Your room is right behind you. We cannot continue talking once you've retired the DVD. Be quick. You pressed it? I can't go to the second one. Oh, we have to go in there. And where? The where it says your room is right behind you. You can continue talking once you retrieve the DVD. Be quick. Okay. So locked. I guess I know the room is this. I know it's not talking about that puddle. You try to best to hold your breath as you submerge yourself into the flooded room. Yeah, I just picked up a disc. Well, that's what we needed. Let's go. Right, good. I hope there was no damage done to the DVD. What I'm more afraid of, of is that if you were damaged by something or someone, you must know. That's. Let's get to the bottom of this. Do you believe you're not Leon? If so. Who do you think you are, considering we're on an island, where are you from? Well, to make this nice and simple for you, right, Every ever tried flipping your name around? Leon Retrope, Noel Porter? Did you ever question the existence of electricity in this building, or the fact that you could hear the ocean breeze from some parts of the building? Or have you managed to get here, because I'm, I'm sure a car wouldn't get you anywhere. Do you remember coming here? Uh, listen, Leon. As much as, as much as I'd like to stay here and talk this through, our time here is limited. We were here. We were abandoned by whomever more than six years ago. This DVD is the closest thing that we ever got to a solution. Whenever you've collected yourself, head to the room on your right. I'm not sure if you remember how the machine works, but from 
what you're told. It's too complicated to get running, but pop the disc in and enter. Godspeed, Leon. Hold on, let's, okay, just press it. I have no idea what we did. We gotta start up the machine. Huh? <laughs> I don't huh. think we should have been in there. Now, this is a simulation that we were supposed to enter. Okay, let's go. Hey, it's you. What's good, bud? Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Alverton. Welcome to the first DVD tape and introduction into all the new Alverton Lake Orphanage. Congratulations. Thank you for deciding your time and efforts on a brighter future for the vault. This short little DVD we made for you will help you get accustomed to the all the cities we built for all the new orphanages. As you know, every month we will have shipments into you via the basement, which you can find west of the Grand Hall. The shipments include one child age of nine to thirteen, food, lots of food, lots of food, clothing, soaps, washing soaps, plates, bed sheets, buckets, and so much more. Find out more on the shipments in the blue and yellow book our wonderful shipments. We want this to be a wonderful experiment as we do not want the children living in our vaults to interact with artificial life any longer. It is no biological way of growth. We would like to separate ourselves from the elderly who have yet to be transferred over into the immunity stage. As well as the kids who are still growing, those who have come at the age of 74 will be secretly transferred to the vault circularly for the immunity stage. Under no circumstances should the children ever find out they're an experiment all memory has been wiped clean of the vault to those that influence the children and believe in such things will result to vault approved punishments. Let's skip all that boring stuff. Time to get to the super cool facilities. Go right on in. I'll get right behind you. How are you going to fit through the door? <laughs> I'll be your assistant and guide, Sarah Winters. Welcome to the dormitory. Most rooms will be provided with, but not limited to, sheets, flowers, books, kitchen equipment, television, and more. Mm. Oh. Every dormitory will have their own set of computers. These computers can be tracked and recorded by the vault for monitoring. No privacy here. Anything you write, save, or redirect to another computer can be seen by yours truly, the vault. Aside from that, you can send emails, read books, and have access to some next generation game video games like chess, Fork Knight, and Eliminate Leon. The kitchen will provide a high quality meals to you monthly as we don't eat here at the vault anymore. It's all yours. Hot, cold, scald drink, shower, however you like your water, you have it. Soaps, robes, and towels. Let's keep going, shall we? Painting class with beautiful brushes and colors always beat the devil out of your brush while painting. <laughs> A grand library with over 3,500 books. History um, tells you've got it all. A medical bay to get all, get through all your diseases and injuries. <laughs> you can read. <laughs> My controller died. Uh, oh. one of. <laughs> One of, if not the most important facility, school, a fully functional school system that you can learn more about on the green and white book, school and schools. We'll be providing you with school equipment, all the essentials and enough books, books to read for centuries. Workshop to craft all your crafty needs. At all times, we will have a spy to monitor, spy to monitor everything that happens throughout the orphanage and sign the King family to take on this task for generations to come through this change event. Huh? Yeah, turn it off. Why? Hold on, ma. Okay, next. And that concludes the majority of the facilities here at the institution. In the case of a possible emergency, you can find more about it on the red colored emergency books given to you with the first shipment of supplies. Make yourself at home and most important of all, enjoy your stay, Mr. and Miss Alverton. However, in the worst case scenario where you must conclude the experiment, you can find the failsafe to open the vault door. Uh, this one eye stick out and twitch just doesn't feel right. Secret, secret, but on behind barrels and 
basement. Secret button behind the barrels in the basement. Is this some sort of glitch in a DVD? Oh, I thought there was a hole. Your feet splash as you walk through the strange liquid that covers the floor. I thought there was a hole. This <laughs> is locked. <laughs> I didn't jump. <laughs> hey, Leon. <laughs> Mayor Shoemaker speaking. I don't have a lot of time, uh, as I'm very busy, man, so I'll cut it short, alright? It seems that you and Charles have been pretty busy trying to find a way off the island. So I'll tell you a secret. There is no way. There is now, there is now a way off. There is no way off, but, but boy, do I have a deal for you. From the looks of it, you've got two, maybe three years to live with the food from the last shipment six years back. It doesn't look like you have enough parts to get yourself into a machine either. So you you turn off that little machine in the basement that's powering on Charles, and I'll give you the best deal of your life. Want to guess what the deal, what that might be? Yeah, way to ruin the fun of guessing game. Anyways, you'll get a drum roll, please. A ticket right into our secure vault. That's right, you take the waste of scrap, and we'll have you transported down here. It's safe. You'll never have to worry about food again, and who knows, might even find yourself a lady. Well, Leon, good question. You can't trust me, but I'll tell you this. Is is there a way into the vault from the island? Yes, there is. Can you get there? Maybe. We'll never know. But even if you do, then what? The vault door is made of titanium. You'll just look down on it, staring like fools, unaware of how to enter. So if you want to live that way... That life, go right on ahead. It's a simple task for a great outcome. That's all I have to say later. Is that it? No. Oh, right. I forgot to open the door for you. The right, the door on your left should be open now. Hasta la vista, mi amigo. Oh, don't say a word to Charles at all. You'll say, you say anything, and I mean anything about the DVD, the deal is off. All right, for the third time now. Bye. Have a good Have a one. Good one. Huh? Yeah, we're back here. That was the DVD. As you leave the room, you keep walking straight ahead for the base and try to avoid making eye contact with Charles. Leon, you're back. My oh my, am I glad to see you come back in one piece. Please fill me in with all the information you can about your journey. I think that's Charles. Sorry. That's Charles. When did your skin change? Oh, it changed back. As you entered the basement, you knew that this would be the end of the line. That you have to make a choice to either keep Livingston alive and find the fail safe, or turn off the mist keeping him operational. You know that the single choice will change your life drastically. And although the mayor had his points, can I really take his word on it? Alright. Would he Would really he... show up if something wasn't wrong just for me? Time to make a choice. Charles Livingston or Mayor Shoemaker? Who the hell is Mayor Shoemaker? It was the dude who said if we turn them off, we get to go to the little vault. I was just reading. Right. This might be where the vault would deliver their shipments from. That's strange. Why would it be a door frame here? This might be where I have to come decide to use the fail save. The big wooden crates should not be tampered with. They are fragile. Please do not open them or touch them. You know what that means. This will shut down Livingston and siding you with the mayor. But there's no other Nah. There's another way, it's over here. It's over here. It says the big one crate should not be tampered with. Please do not open them or touch them. Then it says, that's strange. Why would there be a door frame here? This might be where I have to come decide to use the fail save. So what do we do? 
Hold on. What? Something just opened. It should, that's the thing. If we wanted to side with Livingston, it would open there. Um, why did it just get dark? Huh? You just want to side with it, the mayor? Sure, let's do it. Oh, as you push the button, you can hear the sound of a huge drop happening right above you. You ran back upstairs as you can hear scrap metal rub against each other, creating a screech like noise. As you open the door that lead out to the basement, you can see Livingston's metal structure lying on the floor with a huge destroy ball behind him. With the precincts of two robots began dragging him out to somewhere unknown. You slowly made your way to the huge broken wall where Livingston's chalkboard once stood and began walking out. Even now, no memories of me ever being Leon had crossed my mind. There has never been proof to begin with, only that I'm on this island. Whether this is all real or not, I cannot tell. If this is because of the mist or something unexplainable, I still feel like I'm no Noel. Oh! Hello? Yeah, hey, bud. Darkness, Been a okay. while since we've last spoken. Well done. Before you enter the vault, pod, the vault pod to be sent down. Just have one last look at nature. Tell Some of these robots are mo missing. You look at Livingston one last time, knowing this would be the last time you've ever seen him. There's something over here. The robot holds out with his right hand and fists with his thumb sticking up with his left hand. Hold, holds up his right hand in his palm. Is this some sort of signature from the vault or perhaps sign language? The robot has his palms out with his left as he holds out a thumb over his palm. Oh, he's saying help in sign language. You look over at the robot, you can see him attempted to extract something from Livingston's artificial body. So we fucked up? Ah. Uh, probably. There's probably still more we gotta read out here. Oh. There's a sign over here that says, Huge thanks to a good friend named Chep for helping me with the construction. If you enjoyed the story, consider supporting me.